Sagittarius, welcome to Ascending Spiritually. My name is Dee. This is going to be for March 6th through the 15th. Keep in mind that this is a general reading. That means not all the messages will resonate. If you want something tailored specifically for you, the link to book that reading is in the description box below. Or you could go to AscendingSpiritually.com. So someone just got done smoking or is about to smoke after this or smoking during this. I just got the vibe of smell some weed in the air. Let's see what you guys can expect. This could resonate vice versa. We have the Emperor, the Hangman, the Queen of Cups, the Moon in Reverse, Five of Cups, the Tower, Eight of Swords, Five of Pentacles. So someone is regretting their actions. This could be a male or female or someone who is a mother or father figure. I feel like whoever this person is, they're going to try to reconcile with you or try to, you know, just kind of mend things with you in some type of way. I feel like some of you may end up getting an apology. Whoever this emperor is, there's someone who, you know, is seen as a leader. They could have Aries placements in their chart. This person knows how to work with their money. Like this could, this could be someone who's considered a hustler, an entrepreneur. I just feel like they have heavy manifestation vibes. They can really make money out of straight up nothing. Whoever this person is, they hurt you in some type of way. There was a secret that was revealed or it will be revealed within th these next um, couple days. Whatever the secret is, it has to do with either lies, betrayal, or something having to do with money. Someone in this scenario is going to end up feeling left out in the cold financially or just left out in the cold in general. I'm having like nasal issues, so someone's having allergies right now. I can definitely feel that or just having some issues with the throat chakra and communicating. I feel like you keeping your feelings inside and really trying to suppress how you feel it's like manifesting itself in your body in some type of way through discomfort. So if you have something, if you have a problem with someone, you need to speak up. You need to tell people exactly how it is that you feel because you trying to restrain yourself, it's not helping anybody. And at the end of the day, that's what draws in that explosive energy of you just kind of like losing your shit at the end of the day because it's like little things happen in little increments. And, but because you let it pile up, that's what ends up, you know building up at the end of the day and having you lash out towards other people. So that's something that you should consider. With the hangman, there could have been someone that was trying to make a decision between two different people. If not, this is family interference, friend interference, or just people that were interfering with this connection. We have a mother and a father figure or brother and sister, a male and a female, or just potential love interest in another woman. You are coming out as the queen of cups which is someone who is very loving, nurturing, compassionate. Whether you are male or female, this is how people see you or this is the energy that you're embodying. You have a lot of love to give and I feel like people take you for granted because not only are you so kind and giving, but people, people get so used to having that that it's not, a, it's not until you draw back or until you cut people off entirely that they realize what your value really is in this world and what kind of love that you provided you may not have a lot to give financially for some of you but that doesn't make your worth any less than anybody else out there i feel like what your worth is in this world is to give through love to give through your heart chakra and not really financially give because that could be what this person's strength is you know they could have their finances in order this is someone once again that i said knows how to make money with the moon and the high priestess someone was keeping secrets these secrets, like I said, were yet to be revealed. The secrets that were revealed is maybe the fact that someone wasn't putting in the work that they were supposed to, maybe engaging in things in which, you know, finances were being drained in some type of way. This could be in the example of gambling, doing things, um, extracurricular activities that really drain your finances, going out and partying with your friends. And I feel like this kind of took away from the household or it took away from then really putting in the work into the relationship with you as they should have. Whether this is friends, a family member, whether it's a relationship, it's the same pattern. This man or woman made a mistake. They're now regretting their actions because they're going through some type of grief period. Five of Cups is feeling grief, sorrow, remorse, regret over the past or over something that didn't go the way that this person expected or the way that you expected. And I feel like you both were kind of caught sideways by this whole situation. The tower means that something was destructive in the relationship and whatever this is, it happened suddenly. You both didn't see it coming. It caught you both left field and you're just now left with like the rubbish of everything that you've created together and you now have to make the decision of 
do we continue to build this or do we move on to something better that's going to be beneficial, you know, for you especially because you're thinking of yourself in this situation, especially if someone deceived you, they're lying to you, they're playing games with you. You have the right to say, you know, I don't want to deal with the situation anymore. I want to go build somewhere else with someone that's not going to do these kinds of things to me, you know, hide things from me, hurt me in some type of way. You're feeling restricted, restricted, feeling um, mentally entrapped. This is all about mental confinement. It's a... It's basically like a point of view that you're having. You're not really confined. You're not really tied up. Once you change your perspective, you will realize that you have the ability to release yourself from whatever this situation is. We always have an option, regardless of whether it seems like we don't have a choice when it comes to the things that we deal with in our environment. This is me letting you know that you don't have to feel like you're trapped or like you don't have a choice because you always have a choice. With this Three of Pentacles, this is letting me know that you need to work on your finances, focus more on your jobs, on you know your money, because financially you could be at a place in where it's going to cause you to be codependent or to rely on someone because of the fact that you maybe didn't have your finances in order. Or this is just you simply being able to save for a rainy day. Because for some of you, if there was an emergency that was to happen like next week, this would be something that would catch you off guard and you would not know how to deal with it from a financial uh, standpoint. So this is me giving you a warning um, that you should work on your finances. Let's get another deck. That way I can get a deeper understanding of what's going on. So let's see. Let's open my sages. The emperor here is trying to find the inner strength to deal with their demons. They're trying to find courage to do what's necessary. I feel like they need to cut something out. Whether you're the emperor in this situation or the person that you're dealing with, someone has to cut out their inner demons. They have to cut out the behaviors that no longer serve them. There is a sacrifice that is required here. Someone is reluctant to let someone go, to let people go. And these are people that have bad intentions. People that are fake, people that wear masks, and people that are snakes. Whoever this man, I feel, may have friends and people that they've had around them from quite some time. This could be years. Maybe day ones for, for a select few of you. And they're reluctant to let these friends go. Despite the fact that, you know, they really hold them back. And they, whoever these friends are, co-workers, associates, they don't have your best interests at heart. These people would turn on you the second that something goes wrong. It's like you would be the one to take the blame because that's they're snakes. They're not people that are there for you genuinely. And someone has to cut this out. The Queen of Cups may be aware and, and has intuition about what's going on here. And maybe this is what's having you feel trapped. While well, select few of you, someone's finding out that either a partner stepped out or they were doing things that they shouldn't have been doing. And this involved another woman because we do have Queen of Cups and Queen of Swords. But don't try to make it fit if it's not your story. You're going to know if, you know, I'm talking to you. While others, it's just situations where there's issues with money or issues with, like, putting in work into the relationship rather than actually stepping out and cheating and being deceptive. Let's get another deck and keep going. Why is the Queen of Cups here? We have Four of Wands. You're someone who's very stable, very grounded. You're someone who's nurturing. You deserve a home. You deserve to be, you know, husband, wife material. And you may be working on your stability and your foundation. Whoever you're with or you're connecting with right now knows that they're not giving you what it is that they deserve. That you deserve, I mean, whether they're letting you know this or not. Yeah, the emperor, and as soon as I said that, the emperor, the emperor knows that you deserve much more than what you're getting, whether this is the boss figure that knows you deserve more in terms of, like, you being paid more than what you actually are being paid right now. But this emperor wants to take control of the situation either by having a renewal in the relationship through a new start. Ace of Pentacles is new start, so it could be a new job, new career, new house, new home, or this could be, you know, finances leveling up either through tax returns, you know, kind of giving you that cushion, while others you're going to have a new opportunity in terms of your finances. When it comes to this Five of Cups, you will get some type of communication. This communication, I feel, is going to be from the person that you're connecting with. You're going to see something, either a screenshot, um, a message, a DM, a voicemail. You're going to see something that's going to cause sadness in regards to this emperor. They, might, they may end up doing something that you feel is betraying your trust. And this is what that tower moment is. So just beware if something does happen. It won't shock you as much because, you know, I did give you some type, some type of heads up. But just know whatever this is, it's going to keep you in your head. It's going to make you feel trapped. It might even make you overthink. 
Um, and it's going to be someone else who's trying to offer love or some type of communication about, I don't know, something sneaky I feel this emperor is trying to do. And they're not going to get away with it if, that's, if that is the case. But it is going to cause issues and drama initially because it's like if someone's supposed to be committed to you and you find, you know, a message or communication that tells you that maybe they're thinking about stepping out or they're, they haven't really done that yet, but they're in the process of doing it, then it's going to shift the dynamic of the relationship and you should just be careful. While others, you just have to focus on your finances, even though it's going to keep you confined. Someone here may be trying to play mind games with you, trying to restrict you. Even if you know there's something that's going on because of the fact that you you don't have proof, it's like all you can go off of is just your gut and your intuition. It's like that's not enough, which is why some of you are going to be watching this reading going like, oh yeah, that's what it was. I just didn't have any proof. I needed someone to kind of show me what was going on so that I know that I'm not crazy and you're not crazy. It's just that you are not trusting yourself 100%. You already know the answers. They're already inside you. Let's get you best advice moving forward. Best advice from my Sagis. Unexpected. Yeah, see, something unexpected is going to happen. And I feel like it may not be necessarily positive. For others of you, it's going to be something positive, you know, such as like a new home, a gift, maybe even finding out you're expecting. But others, this unexpected news is going to be something that's not necessarily beneficial. And right now, some of you need to drink water and hydrate more or go spend time near water, go swim. Water is going to be beneficial for you for whatever type of way or just working with water in general. Last one that we have is sincere relationships and guardian. You have someone that's watching over you, whether this is a guardian angel or a grandmother, grand. Father, I feel like this is mostly a feminine energy, but everywhere that you go, despite the fact that you may feel alone sometimes, there is someone that's always looking out for you and your well-being. Look for sincere relationships. So anybody that you feel is real and is 100% with you, someone that you don't have to question, is, this, is the type of people that you should be drawing yourself towards. If you kind of sense that someone's fake or that, you know, they're just there for their own selfish, beneficial reasons, you should draw yourself back from these types of people because usually your intuition is right. And because you are in that Queen of Cups energy where your intuition is on point, anything that you feel in your gut, you should follow that. Let me get some additional cards. Why is unexpected here? Because of the King of Cups. Yeah, the male, I feel like specifically for a lot of you, it's going to be a male that's going to give you this unexpected news or you're going to see this unexpected news in regards to a male. While a lot of my men watching this, it's the other way around, but it's a female. Um, but you're going to be focused on the future. Focus on how you want to move forward. You're the Queen of Cups. And look, it came out again. Queen of Cups. Someone who's sitting in their throne. Right now is not the time for you to be chasing anybody or, you know, any people. It's the time for you to sit on your throne and kind of just get the fruits of your labor because you've worked a lot. You put a lot into other people and it's now time for other people to put that time, energy, and effort into you. When it comes to guardian, three of swords, the chariot. This guardian angel is someone that watches you. You, you feel them specifically when you're sad or when you feel like you're at your lowest is when someone ends up getting sent to you, whether this is an archangel or just someone from your past um, in your lineage that ended up passing away. But there is someone in your ancestry line that is watching you. And with the chariot, you are meant for greatness. You're on some type of path. You're going to move forward. It's only a matter of time. What you need to do right now is just focus on you. But there's some shady shit going on right now that I'm feeling. And this is your heads up that follow your intuition. If you feel something's up, most likely it is. If you want to know how this plays out, that link is in the description box below. Like, share, subscribe, and I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Bye.